so. I am a tree, as steady as can be. I stay firm in the ground, since my roots are earthward bound. When the wind whistles, my boughs do move in a circular vein. Thus my leaves sing their musical refrain. Come, round my branches, the birds come and go. They're building their nests, make a wonderful glow. I me, they can rest as freely as can be. Just look at me, and you will see that I am a bountiful, bountiful tree, as my branches sometimes do dance a balony. When I was a little girl in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, I always wanted to go to school. So my mother said to me, all right, Dora, I will take you to nursery school. Well, I, I sat in the carriage, and as I was in my carriage, I kept looking up at the trees. Beautiful, beautiful trees in the sky and in the clouds. Dora, sit down, because you're going to fall. Well, I got up again, and I said, Look, those beautiful, beautiful trees. I hear them talking. They are saying something to me. They are saying something to me. When we got to the nursery school, I came in and all the children were sitting on the floor. And the teacher said to me, who would like to do something? So I raised my hand. All right, Dora. What would you like to do? I would like to be a tree. And I ran around. <laughs> oh, that was nice, Dora. Sit down. Now that is finished. <laughs> the following year, I went to kindergarten. And since I come from Canada, the maple leaf is a maple tree is our heritage. And the teacher was making maple syrup. And I said to the teacher, taking the syrup out of the tree, doesn't that hurt the tree? I didn't want anything to be hurt. Oh no, Dora, that just helps the tree. And she had this big machine, and she was cutting the bread, and gave everybody a taste of that maple syrup. But I didn't want to take it, because you know why? My mother said to me, don't take anything from anybody. And I was a good girl, and I didn't take it. When I came home, I told my mother, and she said, from your teacher, you could have taken something. And I started to cry. The next day, I told my teacher, and she cut some bread for me. And she gave me the maple syrup to taste. When I went into the upper grade, my mother had to go to work. And I had a babysitter taking me to school. And we walked to school, and the girl said, Dora, oh, you're going too slow. Why? Look, girls, look at the beautiful sky. Look at those trees. They are beautiful. They are saying something to me. They didn't understand that. After a while, we moved into another neighborhood. And in that neighborhood, I had a balcony. And overlooking that balcony, there was a nice big tree. I used to sit up on the balcony and look at the tree, and look at the tree waving, the tree lifting their arms up to the sky, up to heaven. And I said, say something to me. Then 
one day, my mother said to me, you know, your aunt is going to the country. She would like to take you there and take care of you. I was very, very happy as I came to the country. And there I saw loads and loads of trees that made me feel so happy. And all I gathered, all the children around me, and we made a play. We made believe that we were trees. We had a wonderful time. As I grew older, I joined a hiking club. And we did a lot of hiking in the woods. We went all over the woods to hike. And I saw many, many trees. Of course, I saw the maple tree, which looked like a hand. Then there was a big oak tree, tall and lanky, overlooking all the trees. It was like a guard guarding the trees. Then there was a weeping willow whose leaves were bent, but they were not crying. They were just honoring, honoring people. And the nicest tree of all was that pine tree. It smelled so nice. No wonder they use it as a Christmas tree. It's too bad that they had to cut it down. But the needles smelled so nice and soft and beautiful. Okay, Tora, I think and you want to like finish to with the little pine, dance. I think you want to finish with a little dance. I'm going to give not you a yet, few minutes. No, it's time. It's time, Tora. <laughs> it's time. Oh. It's time. Oh. It's time. Nice. And one day, I said to my husband, let's make maple syrup. So we got a great big grinder. We made a hole in our maple tree. We took a pan and put it underneath. And the sap came out. We took the sap into the house, the wooden stove, and let it sip. And maple syrup came so sweet. You know, I still have some of it in my refrigerator. <laughs> As a memory. And now, in my own house, I go to my balcony and I look up at the trees and they say something to me. They are saying something to me. They are whispering to my balcony. Oh, you can play. <laughs> I am a tree, I can do a balanese.